Good morning. Take two of this Tuesday tip video. My connection seems to be <laughs> messed up again. My name is Kasha Rashful, and for those of you who are new to me, I am an intuitive life and business healer and mindset coach, and I help spiritual women entrepreneurs to let go of old stories and limits, beliefs that stand in their way and keep them on the hamster wheel. So today I'm, I wanted to talk about resistance because inevitably in your business, if you show up and do the work, um, it will start to grow and sometimes it can grow very quickly. And if you've never experienced that level of success with your business before, this can actually freak you out. It can um, bring up emotions that you don't expect and it can bring up resistance even in you. I have definitely experienced this and I wanted to talk about this because, you know, often what happens when negative emotions come up, um, especially when we're experiencing things like success, it can be surprising. I know it was for me because, you know, you think I'm doing this, I'm passionate about this, I have this idea, I'm serving my clients, I'm serving the world. And all of a sudden you start to either make money or, or people are starting to know about you and, and contact you about things, opportunities, and you, you start to resist, you start to freak out. And what do you do in that moment? Because whether this happens now at the beginnings of your business or perhaps you've had a few years under your belt and you're going to that next level, it'll happen because all of us have a ceiling for success. Unfortunately, we have a ceiling for success. Um, some of us have a higher ceiling, some of us have a lower ceiling, depending on our, our experience in life, in previous work or previous business. There's nothing wrong with having a ceiling. It's knowing what to do when you hit that ceiling. So the biggest tip that I can give you today is be extra kind to yourself when that happens. Because you let, look at it this way, when let's say you have a friend or a child who comes to you and they're really excited and scared at the same time because something really amazing happened and yet they're like almost having a panic attack about it, right? They're, they're just, the excitement and the fear is taking up equal space in them in that moment. How would you handle that situation with someone you love, like a, a dear friend or, or your child if you're a parent? You probably wouldn't tell them to push through it, not immediately anyway. You would hold a safe space for them, probably give them a hug, congratulate them. You would um, love them through it, right? You would tell them, it's okay to be feeling this. You'll get through this. Um, whereas when that happens to ourselves, to us, we don't often give ourselves that courtesy of holding that safe space for ourselves where we can process this emotion. We expect ourselves to be perfect often and just to burn through this and, and to push through it. And unfortunately, what happens when we resist feelings that come up like that is they tend to stick around longer they tend to hang out and like unpack their bags and stick around. And so then we find ourselves trying to use willpower or whatever energy we have to, to just deal with the resistance that's coming up. Um, we, it, it can be a very frantic time sometimes because here you're experiencing this success and so you're excited and you want more of that. And yet you've got these unprocessed negative emotions coming up because you've been pushed up against your ceiling. So you've got to give each of them equal time. Now, this doesn't mean you indulge the negative emotions and you get on the train with them and you, you know, go on those tangents where you ruminate about whatever negative emotions are coming up. If it's fear, um, overwhelm, that sort of thing. It doesn't mean you have to indulge them. It simply means you notice them and you love yourself through them. It means, you know, give yourself the courtesy of just kindness. Like, of course this is coming up. Of course you're feeling this. Why wouldn't you be? You've never been here before or not to this degree, 
right? So give yourself that benefit of, of just kindness and um, compassion. Compassion is huge for yourself in those moments. So if fear is coming up, or, or for me what happened is I, I felt like I had lost my passion. Like I, I would get up in the morning and work from a place of, oh, I have to do this. Like this is not fun anymore. But that wasn't the truth. The truth was I was simply freaking out and it was masquerading as, as this resistance to, to doing what I love because I'm still just as passionate now that I was able to get through that. And there, you'll have, you know, this isn't just going to happen once. This will happen over and over as you grow. So this is a skill that's really important to practice. So when you find feelings of resistance coming up, just welcome them. Of course they're coming up. Of course, because you've never been here before, like I said before, right? So expect it, welcome it, love yourself more, not less through it, which means just, you know, okay, in this moment I'm feeling fear. In this moment I'm feeling like I really don't want to do this. In this moment I'm simply experiencing whatever it is you're experiencing, right? Name that feeling and allow yourself to feel it. Allow yourself to be that self, soft place to fall for yourself. And you will get through this phase of growth, of fear of growth or, or hitting the ceiling a lot faster than if you resist it or if you try to push through it. If you have any questions for me about this, please pop them into the comments below. Um, thanks to everyone who watched live and thank you so much to everyone who's watching the replay. And if you find yourself struggling getting through these times of hitting the ceiling and, and even though you're being compassionate and kind with yourself and, and you feel like you're embracing those feelings of resistance, you're still having a rough time, perhaps it's time to ask for help. That's one of the things that I offer my clients is healing those old stories that keep us stuck. Um, keep us running on the hamster wheel because sometimes you need more than just kindness and compassion to yourself. So um, definitely reach out to me. Let's have an intuitive call. Uh, let's see if working together is a good fit. I would love to support you. Oh, thank you so much for all the hearts and the thumbs up. I love that. And I will see you next week um, with my next Tuesday tip. And I will pop back later to see if there's any questions and uh, have an awesome day.